Hello and welcome to our famed traveling intergalactic radio show, STAR. My name is Beitor Doraz from Quonos and I'll be one of your hosts today as we orbit the planet Earth. And now, introducing the one and only Benny, a real life astronaut from Earth as my co-host. Can you believe it? Hi, I'm glad to be here. So, how do you feel being the first human to have a spot on our show? Oh, it's great. I mean, it's a radio show just like back at home. How cool is that? I'm sure it's just like back home. Anything else to add before we begin? I can't think of anything, but do you perhaps have some water? Well, not any water that you can drink, but I've heard that you humans have made some pretty interesting discoveries about water in space. So according to NASA, their leading space organization, they have discovered water on Mars. They found darkish streaks that ebb and flow like water does for them, and Legendre Oja says the detection of hydrated salts on these slopes means that water plays a vital role in the formation of these streaks. And from space.com, very creative name, they also report that there's large sections of water trapped in the polar cap, and have theories that lakes may be under the surface of Mars. Now I won't tell you what we know, just in case those humans hear something, let them figure it out themselves. So you got any other brilliant discoveries you've made, Sherlock? Well, we've gotten news from NASA that we've discovered a way to grow romaine lettuce in space, which is a huge scientific breakthrough. Wow, it's not like us aliens figured that out eons ago. But go on, tell us more about this amazing discovery. Well, I mean, you may be able to ingest your own vegetables, but since we're humans and are vastly different from you extraterrestrial beings, our bodies might not be able to intake the same things that you can. You make a good point, but I still think we're superior compared to you humans. I mean, you guys can't even eat your own kind, but we aliens eat you, humans, for breakfast. Oh, <laughs> well, that is impressive, but so are these amazing veggies that we've managed to grow. Sadly, we cannot grow these veggies out in the open due to the lack of oxygen, but we can grow them from within the plant growth system that is currently in the orbiting laboratory. We plant pillows that are filled with seeds and tend to them just like you would an everyday plant. Another benefit that comes with growing plants in space is that it also helps psychologically. Dr. Ray Wheeler, one of the leaders for this great discovery, had said, there is evidence that supports fresh foods such as tomatoes, blueberries, and red lettuce are good sources of antioxidants. Having fresh food like these available in space could have a positive impact on people's moods and could also provide protection against radiation in space. I love the aspect of gardening and fresh vegetables. It reminds me of my home in Iowa. Where the heck is Iowa? Oh, it's not a very popular state, but it's in the U.S. We grow lots of corn there, if that rings a bell. The place with all the farms? Oh gosh, I love farmers. They taste delicious. Um, don't you mean the produce on the farms tastes delicious? I mean, you don't actually eat humans, right? You know, you still haven't told us whether you can actually eat this stuff or not. Not to sound rude, but you still haven't told me whether you eat people or not. I guess we'll just have to answer both those questions right after we listen to a word from our sponsors. Sunday, 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 Sunday the Intergalactic, Intergalactic Monster, Monster Spaceship, Spaceship Show! Show! At the northwest edge of the Milky Way galaxy, witness these spaceships go head-to-head -head in this galactic battle. 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 All ages are welcome to watch this battle between Death Star flown by Darth Vader versus Captain Kirk flying the Enterprise. Battle. 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 Mark your calendars for Sunday, 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 Sunday. Sunday. Now let's answer our unfinished questions. So, puny human Benny, are your human bodies able to intake your space-grown produce? Well, Bator, we actually can eat the lettuce. Soon after it was successfully grown, we froze them and stored them away to send to our scientists back down on Earth to see if they were safe for consumption. Thankfully, everything turned out okay, and it was found out that they were safe. Have you gotten to try these plants yet? Sadly, no, but I can only assume it tastes great. Well, that's good, because I'm pretty sure I'm allergic to lettuce, so it'd be bad if you had any inside you. I think on that note, we should head over to the weather forecast. Um, you never answered my question about the whole, uh... You guys eating humans thing? Well, I guess you're about to find out. What? Take it away, Schlorblog. 
Good afternoon, this is Slorblog coming to you from Star Radio Station, your intergalactic connection. Here is today's weather forecast. Today we are expecting temperatures from negative 240 degrees Celsius to a whopping 430 degrees Celsius, depending on what planet you're on. If you're on Pluto, you can expect some methane snow showers around 10 a.m. that should evaporate by noon. On Mercury, you can expect some plasma rain around noon that will end by 1 p.m. And on Terra or Earth, there will be some communication interference from a geomagnetic storm throughout today. Starting at 3 p.m., you'll see some electric winds rocking Venus that will last into the early evening. Let's hope your day is not too electrifying. Now back to the main story. Well, wasn't that an interesting show we had today? Sadly, our puny friend Benny, the astronaut, had to... <laughs> ...leave us. Well, at least he was able to figure out the answer to his question. I got nothing else for you today, so I guess this is the end. As we always say, Ash Globe Larb!